Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshings tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. The assemble tolerance metric is new in Pointwise version 18, and the function is designed to be used on existing quilts and models to obtain values used to assemble the object for edge and vertex. This information is particularly useful when determining appropriate grid spacings near these assembly boundaries and models. Here I've loaded a car underbody model into Pointwise. You can see the various quilts that comprise this model with a unique color applied to each. Adjacent quilts in Pointwise are considered watertight for a given tolerance. Selecting this model from either the display window or this panel, and choosing Assemble Tolerance from the Examine menu, brings up the Examine panel with the corresponding Assemble Tolerance function selected. Each quilt edge of the model has been discretized into a number of points. The assembled tolerance calculates the distance between adjacent quilt edges that was needed to ensure that adjacent quilts for the model are watertight. This assembly tolerance is essentially measuring the distance between adjacent quilt edges. Here we see that the maximum distance calculated between adjacent quilts appears along an edge connecting the two quilts near the rear wheel well on the driver's or left side of the vehicle and has a value of 0.0129 millimeters. Other locations where edges are shown in blue are nearer the default assembly tolerance of 0.001 millimeters. Generally, it isn't a good idea to have grid spacings less than the locally used assemble tolerance value. Otherwise, the grid will resolve non-existent underlying geometry, possibly resulting in poor grid distribution in that area. So prior to meshing, it's a good practice to check the assemble tolerance of your models and use a mesh spacing larger than the maximum assemble tolerance shown. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.